Prednisone is stealing a vitamin called thiamine from your body while you're taking it. So we need to give back thiamine. Hi, I'm Dr. Megan, your prednisone pharmacist. I'm here to talk to you all about thiamine or vitamin B1 and how to get more of it while you're taking prednisone. So vitamin B1 is an important vitamin. That means you can't make it. A vitamin you have to eat. You can only eat to get it. You cannot make it inside your body. And so this is one of those B vitamins that you need for energy, for nerves and brain health. Low levels of vitamin B1 can cause heart failure. So we want to make sure we have just enough vitamin B1 thiamine while we're taking prednisone. Here's some side effects that could be caused by low levels of thiamine while on prednisone. These side effects include fatigue, and sleeplessness, emotional roller coasters, blurry eyes, roid rage, muscle changes, and cramps. So some benefits for getting your thiamine into the right range while taking prednisone include boosting your energy levels. Often people who are taking prednisone can have low energy. And so if we get the right B vitamins into our bodies, then we can have a higher energy level and combat those feelings of tiredness. Next, having the right amount of thiamine can support our nervous system's function. When we don't have the right balance of these things, that can lead to issues like mood swings and trouble sleeping. So if we have the right amount of thiamine, we might get better sleep and improved emotional well-being. Thiamine helps support the transmission of nerve signals to our muscles. So it's important you have enough to prevent cramping and have healthy muscle function. Prednisone is not the only medication that can cause low vitamin B1 or thiamine. Other steroids like dexamethasone or hydrocortisone, antibiotics, the estrogen in birth control, and furosemide, a medication used to help pee out excess water, those can all cause vitamin depletion of thiamine as well. So what can you do if you're having low thiamine, the symptoms of low thiamine? You can eat whole grain foods, such as brown rice, whole wheat bread, and oatmeal. They're all great sources of thiamine. It's best to avoid refined grains like white rice or white bread because they don't have as much thiamine in them. Meats such as pork, chicken, and fish can contain thiamine. Legumes such as chickpeas, lentils, and black beans can contain thiamine as well. Nuts and seeds, such as sunflower seeds, flax seeds, and peanuts, are a great source of healthy fats and thiamine. Vegetables can contain thiamine, such as spinach, kale, and Brussels sprouts. Oranges and tomatoes contain small amounts of thiamine and be helpful in your diet as well. If you're still having trouble getting enough thiamine into your diet, taking a supplement is a really easy choice. There are really great supplements out there to help you while taking prednisone. And if you're thinking, wow, if thiamine is this important, what other nutrients do I need while taking prednisone? If you're wondering, check out my downloadable, the 10 nutrients you need while on prednisone. It includes 10 other nutrients like calcium and the helpful food sources for those. So you can just print it out, hang it in your pantry and easily remember all the foods you need to be eating while taking prednisone. Signing off as Dr. Megan, your prednisone pharmacist.